Hey guys, James again for TFB TV, and I am thrilled today to bring you a brand new gun from LWRC. This is from LWRC's M6IC series. That's the individual carbine series. These are the rifles that were made to compete in the Army's individual carbine competition. So this thing's loaded to the gills with features. Now, those of you that know anything about the history of LWRC know that these guys almost exclusively do piston fired uppers. So this is a really neat turn of events for LWRC to come out with a direct impingement gun. So a couple cool things uh, I want you to see right here with this M6 before I shoot it. Um, it's got a lot of ambi features, ambi safety, ambi mag release. So those of you, uh, if your mom was a witch and you were born left-handed, you will be able to use this gun still. Even has an ambidextrous bolt release. That's kind of cool. Comes with a Magpul grip right out of the box. Um, comes with a hand stop that, um, two hand stops really, kind of works like an AFG and a couple of grip panels. You got some Picatinny rail pieces. Also, forgot to mention, Ambi charging handle. I mean, this thing's almost completely ambidextrous. It's got this fluted barrel, which keeps it very lightweight, um, but it's a spiral flute, which my wife, Lindsay, says looks like a narwhal tusk. And um, as silly as it sounds, I can't say that I disagree with her. But another cool thing that I just went over is the way they've got the handguard, the free float handguard set up on these guns. Arrow's been doing this lately, and it looks like LWRC's jumping on the bandwagon too, which I'm all for. That is that you can, you can see you've got two, four, six, eight, ten Torx screws at the base of the handguard. And you can see the upper has an extension here. So what that allows you to do is with a couple of Torx wrenches, you can change out your free float handguards. A lot of us who are ham-fisted, especially me, we're not so good with tools. We can't change out free float handguards whenever we feel like it. So this is a nice option, so easy, a caveman could do it. You just remove these 10 screws, slide a new handguard on there, and boom, you've got a new configuration. Very neat feature. Anyways, I wanna say thank you to LWRC for sending me this gun. Um, I'm honored to get to try out something new like this, and let's go see how it shoots. Tell you what, it's a good looking gun also. Yeah. And this is, so this is the, one of the first uh, DI gun. Gas rip, huh? that's that right, huh? A little hung up with the magazine there for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give, it a, give it another go. <laughs> Not bad. I tell you what, I need a. Listen, there we go. Now is that time it went. Be damn, you could definitely feel the weight difference yeah. by far with the other LWRCs, the piston versus gas. I mean, it's unbelievable. Digging the look, digging the, the controls, uh, feels light, feels great. Um, no doubt, great looking gun, it really is. But all in all, you know, say we gas it up, see how it actually controls under a rapid fire. Yep. Shoot ready. Seven, 1.64. Good. Tell you what, all in all, feel good. I, I think the trigger for some, just some practice, getting used to like how it actually rolls. But all in all, the gun drives phenomenal. The trigger, uh, like I said, a little bit on that, but the uh, controls, digging the controls, the gun feels phenomenal. The, the hand guard. I mean, all in all, I think LWRC did a great job with this gas gun. Thumbs up. Thumbs up by far. Nice. Send me one LWC. <laughs> All right. Okay, eight rounds. Eight rounds. Shoot ready. Yeah. All right. Stand by. <laughs> Smoked it. 1.64. Awesome. Gun's freaking jamming up, yeah. man. I'll tell you what, yeah. look at that. All with an eight inch plate. Nice. Phenomenal.
Yeah, great trigger. It's very easy to shoulder this gun. I mean, the fluting really makes a huge difference in terms of weight. Um, really lightweight AR, especially considering this thing's got a free float on it. I don't know, maybe that uh, modular upper has something to do with it. Either that or it's just the fluting. Uh, the fluting on this barrel is substantial and uh, it really does at least keep the felt weight down. Very easy to, to shoulder this guy. Sorry, I really got a, I got these low pro, super low pro sight mounts, so I keep having to put my head all the way down to look through the uh, optic. I probably look like an idiot, but uh, well, more so than usual at least. Anyways, so far so good. I like this rifle. So final thoughts on the LWRC M6 ICDI, other than the fact that you have to use every frickin' letter in the alphabet to say it by name. I think it's a good gun. I think it's a good gun. I'm a big fan of the AR platform. I like the AR. This one comes with just about everything you would want on it. It's fully accessorized. It's fully ambi. It's got all the furniture you'd need. Um, as Jacques pointed out, the trigger... Uh, he didn't like the trigger that much. I thought it was fine, but it is just a standard, nothing special, uh, plain Jane GI trigger. And uh, it, it's really lightweight and easy to shoulder, easy to handle. And that's what I like in an AR is a lightweight gun. This fluting really helps in that regard. Now, as far as the downsides go, there aren't many. Jacques didn't like the trigger. And it is just, like I said, a standard GI trigger. There's nothing special, nothing to it. And you would expect more out of a fifteen or $1,600 gun. And I guess that really would be the negative issue that we have to focus on here. And that is that this is a gun with like a $1,500 street price. So of course I'm going to love it. And you've seen me through this video say, man, this is great. This is great. This is great. And just fawn all over this thing because it's, it's fucking awesome. It's a great gun. Not to mention, I mean, how many guns do you get that are $1,500, $1,600, and you shoot them, you do a review, and you're like, oh yeah, this gun's a piece of shit. That, it really just doesn't happen that often. That said, $1,600. And right now, there's a glut in the market. You can get, a, you can get an AR-15 now for $500, $600. A decent one, too. Now, it's not even going to be in the same ballpark as this gun, and I don't even want to invite that inference. But the point is, right now, even at the high end, you've got... Uh, products from LMT, from Bravo Company, um, from LaRue that are going to perform as well as this gun and they're all in the same price range if not less. So it's a very competitive market right now and that's the entire point. So would I buy this gun? I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely have to shop around. If this were a $1,200 gun, there's no question. There's no question. But the extra, the, putting it in that $1,500 bracket there are a lot of high-end guns in that bracket. So I guess do your research. See what's important to you. So anyways, I'll leave it at that. LWRC, they did a great job with this gun. Everything other than the naming. Trigger could use a little bit of touch-up, but I mean, it's great. It's good for an AR. And I, I really have no complaints. I just have to caution the viewer to do some shopping around because you can get a lot with $1,500 and you get a lot with this gun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to our sponsors, Ventura Munitions. Thank you to our subscribers. And thank you for everyone who watches week after week. We really appreciate the support. Happy holidays.